calculate the electric field at the center of an equilateral triangle of size 2 cm due to three point charges placed at the vertices of the triangle. Assume that Q1 equals to Q2 equals to Q3 equals to 3 microcoulomb. So this is an equilateral triangle of size 2 cm. So if we bisect this angle, it will meet at the center here. If we bisect all the angles, so here is 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 30 degrees. So they meet at this center, at this point. But if we continue, if we protrude this, it will bisect this line into two. So here will be one cm, and here will be one cm. And this angle here will be right angle, 90 degrees. So we want to find the value of R and use it to solve the problem. So in order to find the value of R, we can use a Sokatoa trigonometry. So we say cos 30 degrees. Cos 30 degrees is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And it's equal to 1 over R. Adjacent is this. This is the hypotenuse for this small triangle. So remember, there's a charge here. This is Q1, Q2, Q3. So, and the uh, cos 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. Cos 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. It's equal to 1 over R. That means that R is equal to 2 over root 3. So 2 over root 3 is approximately 1.1547 cm. So with this, we can now solve our problem. So in order to solve the problem, we now say the electric field at the center is the contribution from the electric fields because this one we give E2, E3, E1. So it's equal to E1 plus E2 plus E3. These are the contributions. So E1 is equal to KQ1 over R squared. E2 is equal to KQ2 over R squared. Because they have the same length R. Of course, from here to here will be equal to from here to here will be equal to from here since it's an equilateral triangle. Plus KQ3 over R squared. So, and because Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q3 is equal to Q. So all these things will be Q, Q, Q. So you see now that we have 3KQ over R squared. So we have it to be 3 times 9 times 10 raised to the power 9 times 3 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 all over 1.1547 times since it's in cm 10 raised to the power minus 2 all squared. So we have changed it to meters. So we have it to be approximately 60.8 times 10 raised to power 7 newton per coulomb. So this is how to solve this type of problem. It's straightforward. Once you know the basic math, you can do it. So kindly subscribe and like the video. Bye.